Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got a super duper cool knife unboxing uh, to share with you guys. This is uh, this is definitely a, a collection acquisition. So I'm really excited. This is a big deal. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at uh, metal underscore complex. I uh, can't really provide a link for this. I mean, I, I, I'll i provide a link to their website. Uh, but these are, these are pretty sought after. So it's not going to be something that, you know, uh, you can just go buy whenever you want. But... You know, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I show stuff like this on a fairly regular basis. It's not all of my content. A lot of my content covers stuff that you can get, but I like to spice it up a, a bit. And I'm also a, uh, I'm also a pretty dedicated knife guy. Um, so, uh, you know, I have my own, <laughs> I have my own hunts and things like that that I'm going after. What do we have here? Is this just info? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, who's this from? It's from TRM. TRM USA. I have never seen this, this type of packaging before. What on earth? <laughs> oh, I am very, very excited to open this. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> oh, man. I have been wanting one of these for a very, very long time. Oh, God. That is just freaking beautiful. What is this? What is this knife? Um, well, I'm sure a lot of you know already. This is a TRM Shadow in full titanium. Oh, man, that is just beautiful. So this is my favorite model from TRM. Absolutely. Uh, the Atom and the Neutron are great. The Shadow is much more, um, you know, kind of my style. Like the ergonomic lines, right? As soon as I found out that there was a Titanium one, which was a long time ago, I set my sights on acquiring one. And I finally had an opportunity here recently. And I took it. As is, you know, knife, knife uh, collecting and, you know, if you're, if you're an enthusiast and you're trying to acquire stuff like this, it, a lot of it is just waiting, right? You just, there was not an opportunity for me to just get what I want right then and there when I wanted it. So I had to wait until there was an opportunity. I did pay for this, if you're wondering. Uh, there were no favors or special deals or anything like that. I, I paid for it. Um, yeah, look at that titanium and how they texture it. That is just absolutely beautiful. I, I'm kind of bummed that it's not a milled clip, but then again, it's a pretty good, I mean, like, at least the clip is a good style and it's mounted in a nice place, right? Take a look at that, how they do the backspacer. Very cool. Oh, man. So the blade on this is extremely, I mean, I don't say extremely. It's very thin, very slicey. I'm a big fan. When I reviewed the Shadow, which I did, if you're wondering, I reviewed the Shadow. I want to say, I want to say that Nick Shabazz sent me his G10 Shadow. God, the action is just freaking awesome. Um, Nick Shabazz sent me his G10 shadow and I reviewed that and loved it. And I was aware that there was a titanium one because he, I'm pretty sure he had one. And I was like, oh man, I gotta go for it. The action's very smooth. These are, uh, these are USA. I'm sure you have noticed that. Uh, CPM 20 CV. Um, I, I mean, obviously they make them in G10 and titanium. Um, but, uh, I don't know if there's, you know, other, uh, materials. This is not a review. This is an unboxing and first impressions. This is the first time that I've handled this titanium variant. And as far as I can tell, it's exactly the same as the G10 variant outside of maybe, no, I think we still have liners in there. Let's take a look. I mean, it would, I, it's got a, uh, oh, we're really glaring off of that titanium there. Um, it has the axis lock. So I guess I can understand why they would do a cartridge style liner. In fact, it has to, because there's a screw right there. It looks to be essentially exactly the same as the one that I handled outside of being full tie, which is going to change the balance a bit and the price. And then also there's a different texture pattern, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 
This is awesome. I really like this. It's got very similar ergonomic lines to a Shaman. It's just a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner. Um, I am uh, I am Im immensely happy that I get to add this to my uh, knife collection. That is very cool. I'm still trying to get the reverse flick down. Is it a... Yeah, it's more like that. So, it's not a meat of the finger flick. It's more of a get your fingernail under there and do that. Oh boy, that is, uh, that's very cool. I will still do a full video on this. I don't know if it will be necessary to do a full-on review because it really just feels like a heavier G10 shadow. Um, but uh, I'll still do a full video on it just because this is a really interesting knife for sure. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it today until the full review comes maybe three, four weeks down the road. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.